video here in uh, Majil, Majil Shams. We are at the uh, border with the DMZ. This is the uh, border fence here. And uh, the demarcation here is actually with uh, the UN line Alpha. Alpha is uh, the line on the Israeli side of the DMZ. And uh, these houses are actually technically in the DMZ. See the little village houses here and I'll show you. You can see right up in the distance, you can see the Syrian flag flying. See right next to the lamppost. I'm not sure that's a border crossing or if that's just a house. But uh, that's a disengagement zone patrolled by UNDAF, the UN Disengagement Observement, Observement or Observing Force, I'm not quite sure. Uh, Line Bravo's on the other side, and this is, uh, like most Israeli borders, quite typically you have a fence, uh, you have a uh, patrol road, and then there is a, uh, uh, that's an army only road running along the border, and then you've got a little fence, which is as far as civilians can go. And uh, it just skirts all the way the town of Majil Shams continuing up to the mountainous, very mountainous terrain. So these um, houses in the foreground are all Majil Shams and I'll just do a little uh, sivuv as they say in Hebrew here and this, we're just driving along a road uh, that goes right next to the border. And uh, yeah, that's the DMZ. This is Israel. And uh, a tiny bit beyond is Syria. Here we are, border sightseeing trip stop number two. This is, uh, we are in Matula, and uh, right up here next to the border fence on Google Maps, we're about 100 meters from the border. This is as far as the road of Masul extends. You can see a uh, border fence there in the background. It says, no further entry, closed military zone. So we're not gonna push our luck too much. Um, but those are, you can see houses in Lebanon uh, on the other side of the fence. You can actually see, uh, we just saw a bunch of cars going through Lebanon and it looks like there is a, uh, there's a town right across. You can actually see, if I can just find it, you can actually see, we're so close, you can see individual, um, I think that's a poster of uh, Nasrallah, perhaps, right there in the center. And uh, we're so close, you can see, we just saw some uh, people on motorbikes. You can see there's a truck. This is all on the Lebanese side. You can see a truck, uh, See a couple of cars moving there in the distance. So this is already uh, over on uh, the Lebanese side of the fence. So quite interesting. We're in Matula here and as I said, you can see uh, cars moving across there on the Lebanese side of the border. This is uh, Israel uh, border day spotting number two. A couple of uh, interesting things to observe here. Uh, one is we have, we can see a uh, blue line marker. Uh, that's the UN blue line just across there. The border is about 100 uh, meters there. We can see a car. There's a Hezbollah flag. There's a car moving in the direction just by, see the yellow Hezbollah flag there, what, right up there. Border spotting too, up close and personal with the uh, Lebanese border. This is the border of Israel and Lebanon. We are in uh, Kibbutz uh, Metula, the northern northernmost point in Israel. This this is a typical uh, border of Israel, like the one before, exactly like the one with Syria. There is a uh, fence here. There's a little patrol road for the army, and uh, literally five meters in front of us, we have the uh, border, international border with Lebanon. Uh, as I showed in the previous video, you can actually see blue line markings from the UN uh, just in this uh, open area across the way. And you can see in the distance here, fields that are uh, actually inside Lebanon already and cars moving across. So the border uh, literally is just on the outside of this uh, of this kibbutz. Slightly further up the road, more uh, exciting border spotting with Lebanon. Again, the uh, Hezbollah flag clearly visible the yellow flag up in uh, the very start of southern Lebanon. Beneath us here, this is again in uh, Kibbutz Matula. 
Uh, beneath us here is Nachal Iyun. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right, which is a nature reserve that you can get into. It's currently supposed to be closed where uh, we are here. You can see again two um, blue line markers of the UN. Here's one here in the center. You can just see about another 100 meters to the right. Uh, there is another one visible. They're a bit kind of sun worn because it's uh, so hot up here, but that's a blue line marker. And you can see where the Israeli border fence is. Um, the fence actually gets less prominent in this part of the border, and it's just these kind of uh, just a little electric fence. And it actually is uh, follows pretty much the blue line is exactly in the middle of where Israel has uh, put up its border fence. This line is typically how you know you're approaching a border in Israel. You have written in uh, Hebrew, Gabula uh, Fanecha, Arabic, and English as uh, saying frontier ahead. So we're just uh, here to the old Gesher uh, point, which is off Route 90, running between the north of Israel, running down to the Dead Sea. And there is a little place you can see the uh, border over here. And where we are exactly here is, um, it's called the Old Gesher, which means the Old Bridge, and it's just off Route 90. Route 90 runs from north of Israel right down to the Dead Sea, and uh, on Google Maps we could see that the border was right here, so we uh, drove in. It's like this old kind of kibbutz thing, and so this is the border with uh, Jordan, the Hash Hashmite Kingdom of Jordan. And you can see there's a sign here saying Shetach uh, Sva'i, which in Hebrew... Um, that's just, if I can, it's about 40 degrees here currently. So that says closed military zone. And uh, you can see the border fence running right in front of us here with Jordan. And uh, as it says, border area, unsupervised uh, entry forbidden. In Hebrew, and the biggest mystery is why exactly there is a Chinese sign. And this runs right here. So the Jordan River is somewhere behind us. And um, you can actually see, if we look in the distance, you can see an old, looks like an abandoned uh, crossing point. And right there in the distance, over the number of the fence, you can see what looks to me, I'm presumably it's Jordanian army watchtower, uh, if you see the tall building there just up on the crest of the hill. So that's already on the Jordanian side of the border. And as I said, this skirts the Jordanian border, typically has a fence like this, this is a typical, pretty typical Israeli border fence uh, and it runs all the way through up and down the length of this. For part of it, the uh, border is the river, the Jordan River itself is the border. And uh, from what I've seen in cases like that, the uh, there's generally a fence on both sides. There's a little buffer zone. Uh, some There's some pilgrimage sites on the Israeli side of the border. So you can get through those sometimes. Uh, but then on the Jordanian side, there's a fence as well. Um, so that the border is, there is some kind of physical demarcation preserving the border between Israel and Jordan. Okay, this is again the border between Israel and Jordan by the uh, Gesher Hayashan, the old bridge. This is, as you can see, as far as civilians can go on this uh, patrol road. It says Shetach uh, Savai, which means military area. And that's Urgavula Vanecha, which means stop, there's a border in front of you. This is the border fence itself. Uh, there is a sign saying that it's an electrified fence. And this is uh, what the old bridge is named after here. If you see here, uh, this bridge, that's running over the Jordan River, as far as I know. And as I said before, you can see a couple of army watchtowers. At 12 o'clock here, I believe that's an IDF watchtower. The border runs directly across the river. Civilians are blocked about 20 meters before the border itself. And there's a Jordanian army uh, watchtower on the Jordanian side of the border 
about 20 to 30 meters across. And that is Jordan, basically, where that watchtower is and across the other side of the river there. Final uh, stop on the border tour. We're not just here, actually, we're here to see the site. It's a Christian pilgrim site called Qasr el Yahud. Um, and you can see there's a sign here saying Gavula Fanecha, or border before you. And this is the real thing because in the previous video and most of the videos, in general, the borders of Israel or the fence is placed um, before the border itself. And there's kind of a no man's land. Uh, Israel concedes about 50 meters to 100 meters of territory sometimes more, and that's declared as Shetach Svai, a closed military zone, and uh, nothing really happens in there. So we're actually past that. There is that fence, and this little pilgrim site is beyond the fence. Um, and this is really, I mean, the border is declared as the Jordan River, which is right in front of me here. And this is Jordan. This building's in Jordan. This is the Jordanian side of the pilgrim site. Kind of interesting. It's always fascinating to see how, when the border is a river or a sea, how people demarcate borders. And you can see what the approach they've gone for here is to put a line of buoys. So I can't, uh, I could stick my hand into Jordan if I was, uh, if I brought swimming a swimsuit with me and I put my leg out, but uh, I unfortunately did not do that. Uh, but this is Jordan and you can see the Jordanian flag hanging here. And uh, the guy who was guiding some people on the pilgrimage said that sometimes you can actually see Jordanian soldiers sitting uh, across here and this is a popular pilgrim site you can actually see if I just go over here this you can see the river Jordan and of course as I said the border stretches along the river and it's usually actually closed off uh, but this is a site so they've made it accessible on both sides